okay uh, I want to show you uh, step by step on how to install the, the system so you download the system in a zip file like this one so the first step is to install the system in your ZAMP so the first thing is to start the ZAMP so click on and find your ZAMP start the Apache and then, and then my SQL after you attach them uh, you start them so continue to to the root folder uh, you can you can easily do go through the explorer option on your ZAMP for the CP panel and then uh, head on to HD docs this is a place that you should uh, install the system so shall copy copy the the, the zipped file to the folder So you have copied the, the, the zip file to the folder then you can you can extract the the system after you extract the system you find a folder like this one uh, this is the this is the folder with the with the with the codes with everything so after you have done that you need to import this to the database so continue to uh, go back to your ZAMP folder uh, ZAMP control panel then to the admin so that you can you can uh, open the database that is my my SQL database So it will load. <laughs> so after the database, I will create a new database. Create a, a new database with the name as the database that you are going to import. So you go back to your to your folder, then copy the name of this database. That is vehicle parking db copy the name then come to your database create with that name that will be vehicle parking db then create that database after you created the database you will head on to import and in import you will choose the file locate the file in your localhost the zamp the hc docs then vehicle parking put up this file click on your database and then import the database then click go Uh, the database has been uploaded to the MySQL database admin that is PHP my admin then it is successful after that you can enter your control panel again click on the admin on Apache so that you can be able to start your system the system is at the, the the vehicle parking system yeah uh, this is th this is the, the system so for user logins you can go to your database and find find the user that is for example the admin admin or the user so that you can be able to to log in this you have already started the the db and the system so after that you can hand on to to so that you can view the the source code 
so I don't do a do ya open your code editor then on your code editor you can head to the file then click open folder where uh, you said you use vs code they have the same process open the folder then go to to local dx c jump x hd docs open the the folder with your that is the vehicle parking folder after you have opened it now you will be able to to navigate through the codes so the code that you see on your this this one is that the localhost vehicle parking user this is the folder that has the the the, the site that is the, the, the file that is loading so this 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 is the file that is on your on your on your user you side so uh -huh. you can be able to to locate this one this is the the the, the folder the html file that you are seeing on your on your screen as the, as your user then you can be able to to see the the other this this the add category this the the script that runs when you add a category on your the category of vehicles or the category of any other this to add the slot the slot the parking slot this is the file that is learning this is the 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 the, the html or the user interface then this is the user interface for for booking this is the booking this this one that is the one that for the booking this is H change change this is for change the the password charge booked now this is the dashboard the the, the first the dashboard that you log in after the user login so now this this is how you can be able to navigate through and get every list every page of here the, the the every page is has this the name as the from as the dashboard or the the page that you are logging in yeah that's it so you can these are the folders for f that for learning the the system this is the css folder they are the counters that's why you see the percentage the and the etc yeah this is just configuration they are here php scripts for that so this is the database file is a database that you, you learn on your PHP my admin these are the fonts this is includes that is in the include you this is the connection to the database so this is the local host this is the server then this is the user of the database password the password is empty so I didn't use password for the user the, the user root in the hosting database that is the local host then this is the database that is vehicle parking db so if there is an error in calling the database it will run the connection field error then this is the footer this is the footer where we uh, if you look the foot of the of the page or the the, the dashboard you'll be able to see the date and the year this is a call for the the date 
Yeah. These are the uh, the greetings. Good morning. Good afternoon. You are on your dashboard. This is the navigation. This is the 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 navigation panel. The the top uh, menu that has this the the parking system profile, change password settings, logout. This is the side bar.